Okay guys, uh, welcome. So this is the uh, first tutorial and for our first tutorial we're going to go into the uh, SIF engine and we're going to focus on the EG section. Now the reason we're focusing on the EG section first is because if you look under the pitch there is an EG knob here and under the VCF there's another EG knob right here and then there's a VCA EG switch over here. So before I want to get into these sections, I, the first most important thing, in my opinion, is for you to understand what the uh, EG section does. The EG section stands for Envelope Generator, <clears throat> and it's one of the most important key elements to making your sounds. This controls the uh, volume envelope. So before we begin, let me show you a couple examples what you can do with the envelope generator, which is the default sawtooth. So there you have it. As you can see, with just the sawtooth and the envelope generator, I managed to make a lot of sounds. You heard a piano sawtooth-like sound, and then a brass sawtooth-like sound, and then a bass, and then a string or violin sawtooth-like sound, and even a drum kit with just the sawtooth sounds. This is why the envelope generator is very important. So uh, let's begin. Uh, some people call this the, uh, well, a lot of people, you may hear it around the ADSR envelope, and it stands for the Attack, Decay, Sustain, and Release. So the first knob is the Attack. The Attack controls the uh, volume from 0 to 100%. So as I play a note right now, the attack is on zero. So you hear the uh, note. It automatically just comes in. But if I add some attack, you can see the note fades in. So zero attack. Note comes in. Add attack. Nope, fades in. So that's what the attack does. Simple as that. You can use a long attack for like uh, soft instruments, you know, like strings or violins or uh, flutes and whatnot. The next knob is the decay, and it works with the sustain knob. The sustain knob is like your volume knob, basically. It's how much, uh, how much volume you want on your sound. So if I put it all the way up, that's the loudest the uh, sound is going to get from the uh, volume envelope. And if I lower it down, the sound gets lower. I'm going to turn the attack off. Now the decay comes right after the attack. And it goes on the volume from 100% down to the sustain level. So now we have no decay and no attack. So when I play the note, 
it goes straight to the sustain level. <clears throat> now, if I add some uh, decay in, you see the note went straight from 100 and slide out sustain. So a louder sustain would be a short slide or uh, a shorter uh, vol uh, volume slide, a shorter slide in uh, volume. And then if I put the sustain way down, you hear a big difference in volume. Now, if I do use a very short decay, you hear a fast slide into the volume of the sustain, like that. So with a very low sustain and a very low decay, you can make pluck sounds. You can use that for guitars or for bass. So that's how you can make your nice pluck sounds. The last knob is the release knob. The release knob controls the volume from the sustain level to zero when a note is released or it stops. So right now I have zero release. I'm going to press a note and when I let go, it instantly stops. But when I add a release and let go of the note now, you can see the note fades out. So a very long release. You can see that note stays there for a while and a very short release. It uh, fades quick. So you can use that to uh, smooth out your sounds a little bit with a short release so they sound too hard on the ears. Um, they're great for strings as well or uh, instruments that you want to sound, you know, very soft. Uh, also, if you kind of don't like write, writing long notes on the uh, DS10 synthesizer, uh, the sequencer, you can just use a long release. So it's a little workaround if you don't want to, if you need to write a like a hundred long notes and you don't feel, don't feel like uh, planning it out on a sequencer. So that's how it works. Now, I told you that the envelope generator controls the volume, but it controls a lot more than that. So on our next lesson, you're going to see that we're going to learn how to do the uh, pitch and it's going to use the envelope generator. So from here, I hope you understand how the envelope generator works. And it's very, very important. You can make uh, this. You can, it's a key element to making your sounds. As you saw the examples before earlier in the video, I showed you how to make. Well, I didn't. I just showed you examples of, uh, you know, how to do certain sounds and stuff. I'll show you more of that more of that in the future. But for now, I will give you some example envelopes you can use for yourself to play around with uh, at the end of this video. So thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next lesson. Thank you for watching the show. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out my website, drixager.com, for some news more lessons and patches. You can also check out my SoundCloud for some music as well. And if you have a question, feel free to ask that question in the comments below. I'll try to reply back as soon as possible. Take care and have fun creating music. <laughs>